King's Indian Defense, Orthodox, Gleck Defense, 8.b3. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. And c3 prepares the e2 e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. e4 takes full control of the center. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Nf3 supports the d4 pawn and puts pressure on the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. b3 develops the bishop to defend the d4 pawn. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. Games Master It is the final book action. This defends the pawn that was attacked. That's good. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This misses a chance to kick a knight. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. Making the adversary double their pawns makes it easier to establish flaws. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. That's good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. This comes in several sections. That's good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. That's good. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is good. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This protects the attack knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This reveals a rook attack. It is ideal. This protects a rook that was being attacked without any defense. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This ignores a more effective technique to strengthen a pawn's defense. It is incorrect. 
this overlooks an opportunity to capture a vulnerable knight. This allows the opponent to unpin a rook, allowing it to provide defense. It is an inaccuracy. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is ideal. This poses a queen winning danger. It is ideal. This prevents the adversary from winning a queen. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This defends the attack rook. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to advance a passed pawn. That's good. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This defends an underdefended pawn that is inadequately attack. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. A passed pawn can attempt to advance while being defended by a rook placed behind it. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is quite good. This prevents the adversary from winning a rook. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. A rook is positioned behind a passed pawn as a result, assisting in its promotion. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It's ideal. Both players were equally favored, 
which was balanced. It was a really competitive game. The beginning struck a balance. Both players played fantastic middle game there. In the final round, both players were incredibly precise. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. 